Tesla gets a big win in Missouri, and I've got your tidbit of the week. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 331 for December 6th, 2017. Our only story tonight comes out of KCUR 89.3 in Kansas City, where they've got a huge win for Tesla. In a story that developed over the course of the end of last year, the Missouri Automobile Dealers Association fought for and won a victory to have the state deny Tesla a renewal of its license to sell vehicles in the state. Tesla appealed and was granted a stay of that while the appeal was heard. The appeals court finally heard the case and found for Tesla. The court stated that the three-party suit brought by the MADA, Ruther Ford, an automobile dealer, and Osage Industries, a motor home manufacturer, did not have the standing required to bring the lawsuit. Just a small pause here. Why in the world does a motor home manufacturer have any care about this? You don't have to answer that. It's, it's rhetorical. Anyway, to have the standing, the plaintiff usually has to be able to demonstrate direct harm by the issue they're suing for. The court said that merely being an economic competitor was not sufficient to confer standing. The court continued saying the ruling was, quote, consistent with every appellate court ruling in the country that has addressed standing in similar Tesla license challenges in other states, end quote. Predictably, the MADA was not pleased with the ruling. Its president, Doug Smith, said, quote, We feel very strong about the merits of our argument, and we're a little disappointed in the final decision. It does have an impact on our industry, end quote. He continued saying, quote, You're supposed to sell vehicles through the system that was created in the early 80s, and until that system is modified or changed, that's going to be our stance, end quote. Tesla spokesperson Gina Antonini said it was, quote, a victory for Missouri consumers who want the choice to learn about and purchase their Tesla in their home state. We have been serving customers in Missouri for almost five years and have contributed to the state economy and jobs for Missourians, something that will now continue, end quote. The MADA isn't done, though, as Smith did say that they are considering their options, including going all the way to the Missouri Supreme Court. Your tidbit of the week this week is a couple of the most popular Easter eggs available on Teslas and how to reach them. We'll start with probably the most famous of Tesla's Easter eggs, which requires you to own a Model X. The Holiday Light Show is impressive and simple to activate. Hold the Tesla logo at the top of the center screen until a prompt appears. You can either input Holidays or Model X Mess and tap OK. If you've done it right, you'll be prompted to exit the car, close the doors, and press the lock button on the key. You'll then be treated to a show, with the car playing Trans-Siberian Orchestra's Christmas Eve Sarajevo, accompanied by lights and motion from the Falcon Wing doors. Easter egg number two requires that you have autopilot on your car. As you know, to activate autopilot, you just give the autopilot stock a double pull. But if you want to enable a rainbow road on your binnacle, a la Mario Kart, and accompany it by the famous cowbell sketch from Saturday Night Live, pull it four times rather than two. Egg number three turns your center screen into a sketch pad. This is another easy one to activate and works on both Model S and Model X. It's not been confirmed to work on Model 3 just yet. Simply keep tapping the Tesla logo on the center screen and eventually the sketch pad will appear. Next up, you can make your nav system display Mars and turn your car into SpaceX's Mars transporter on the about screen. This is another one where you hold down the logo at the top of the center screen and enter a code. Simply enter Mars on the screen and enjoy. One final little-known one is a nod to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. If you name your car 42, after accepting the name, you'll find that the name of the car has changed to Life, the Universe, and Everything. And of course, if you want to get back to any of these quickly, Tesla has added a little Easter basket to the top of your About screen when you tap the logo on the center screen. Mine automatically pulls out when I go there now, so depending on if you've activated any Easter eggs, your mileage may vary. Also, my understanding is that only eggs that you've activated previously show up in the basket, so if you're missing something you're expecting to see, that's probably why. Make sure you check out the links to the full story in the show description. While you're at it, check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash Tibbits. Thanks, as always, to my super patrons for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Walthauer, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, Bruno Kudici, John Rich, Joey Boots, and Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse. Be sure to show your love on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet, or use the show referral code ts.la slash jon4602 if you're in the market for a new Tesla. It's good for free supercharging for the life of the vehicle. That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see everyone back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.